The Eagle has landed. The flag had a horizontal bar moving through the top of it, and that was to keep the flag open because there isn't any air on the moon that would open up the flag. And so as the astronauts Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong were pushing the flagpole into the ground, they had to twist the flagpole back and forth, which made it look like as if the, the flag was waving in the breeze. Now, as they stopped doing that, the flag would continue to wave due to something called inertia, which is the tendency for objects to stay in motion in the vacuum of space. Now, eventually the flag would stop waving because gravity is pulling down on it, and so it would slow down and then stop waving altogether. The moon's surface is actually very bright, um, so the dust on the moon is reflecting sunlight. And so when you use a camera, you have to use a shutter speed, which is kind of the length of time that the lens of the camera is open, so how long it's capturing light. You have to use a very short uh, shutter speed uh, when you're on the surface of the moon. And so the shutter speed is so short that it won't capture the faint light um, from the stars in the background. That particular um, myth comes from the photograph of Neil Armstrong as he's already on the surface of the moon and he turned around to take a picture of Buzz Aldrin as he came uh, out of the, the lunar module. And so it does look a little like um, he's in artificial lighting, uh, but the reason why that is is because um, so the surface of the moon reflects light, it reflects sunlight, so all of the dust uh, on the surface will be reflecting sunlight. And that, so, so that just illuminates kind of the shadows of the moon. So Buzz Aldrin's kind of coming out of the lunar module um, in a shadow, but it's just the shadows illuminated by all of the sunlight that's reflecting uh, from the dust. Sun, forward, forward, 40 feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust, big shadow. I think um, beauty and science are definitely connected. You don't have to separate the two out. Um, so science can be incredibly beautiful. And so those two things are, are really related uh, in my mind.